Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to the Great War Western Front. It's episode 10, and I am about to make a breakthrough into Belgium. I'm about to liberate Brussels. Well, sort of. I have a pretty decent stack over here in Jean Bleu, and I'm going to use that to attack a hustle. They only have two cores, so it should be fairly doable. However, what I'm starting to lack is infantry. I do have a bunch of tanks, and they are definitely very useful. The problem is you can't really run an attack just with tanks. So it is time to start recruiting some additional folk. I can get two new infantry corps. It's one French, one British. It's not a lot, but right now I'll take any help I can get. Uh, this is the British company, or the British uh, corps. We're going to push these guys this way. I have also been scavenging some forces from other departments, from other areas in order to ensure I have enough troops over here in Vouzier to push on Mazerni. Because I want to push in from both directions. So this one's going to go north, this one's going to go north as well. Uh, by pushing into Hasselt, my expectation is to cut off Brussels, Ghent and Leuven all at the same time. And they do have a pretty sizable stack here. I'm not sure if they're going to launch a counterattack. I would welcome it, because it would make for uh, quite some interesting battles. The AI generally does not like to get cut off, so it's going to be very interesting to see what they do. For now, I'm going to take Hasselt. The game is saying it's a major loss. It's because I only have two cores. Um, I don't think I can win this without investing supplies. And right now, I don't want to do that. I want to save a bit of money. So instead, we're going to go on the attack over here in Vouzier, because Mazerni has already been weakened. I get 1500 supply. I do get a couple of these tanks. They're not spectacular. So I'm going to have to work with my infantry a little more. Which means it's finally time to increase the soldier health by a full 25%. Alright, let's take Mazerni. And let's make sure that the Germans are going to be forced to not only um, lose territory. But also they're going to have to stash forces in Sedan, Fumé and Vervin. Because I'm going to be breaking through here. That is the plan. Let's see, can I invest like a bit? No, I can't. Okay. Um, I can't really pull any forces here either, so we'll just have to chance it. Engage in battle. Now, I've already seen the French tanks are slightly less than ideal. Their turrets are definitely not as good as the guns on the Mark IV uh, or the Mark IV MG. So I'm going to try and have the MGs try and take some damage here while the cannon tanks take care of most obstacles in their path. This means I'll not have a whole lot of defenses. And considering there's only like two companies in the way, I shouldn't need them. But I probably will need artillery. So let's get a bunch of those. I'm thinking just a couple of lights. Just so I can suppress the enemy enough, making sure my infantry can get in. I only have standard French infantry, I got no elites here, which means no real good weapon to push into a command trench with. This is going to have to be it. These guys are going to have to do the job, and that means probably losing quite a bunch of them. Now it's going to be another tank charge, uh, much as you might expect. And I want to take this territory. And this is, as far as I can tell, just the most efficient way of going about it. I did not, in case you uh, might consider that, forget the observation balloon. I just don't want any. I want to get in here and I want to make sure I have enough firepower to do so. An observation balloon, yes, it could be useful. But I would rather just have more firepower instead. I have been tasked with destroying a bunch of mortar emplacements, which doesn't necessarily mean the AI has them, because I've also got that task defeating three Sturmpanzerwagens. I don't believe that they have those. I don't believe that the enemy actually has tanks. So I'm not so sure if this is going to be an objective that I can actually take. Alright, you're going to take this... You guys are going to take that. Yeah, they do have mortars. Oh, that's really bad news for my tanks now. Because mortars are a fantastic way to kill a tank very, very, very quickly. This is problematic. Those mortars have to get taken down almost immediately. 
lest I start losing a whole bunch of tanks. Alright, you get in the trench. You get in the trench. You guys start taking down these guys as quickly as possible. Before they find themselves a new trench to hide in. I'm going to relocate to the next line. I'm going to fix up a couple of these tanks that have taken some damage. I have no interest in losing them. Alright, you guys are going to have to go there. You're going to have to move up. You're going to move up to there. This is firmly the department of the machine gun tanks, uh, which are going to have to move, considering that it's already coming down. Make sure that these guys get dealt with and that we can complete the capture of this territory. The next point I want to make sure of is that the enemy doesn't reinforce this. They already have no reinforcement points here, so that shouldn't be too difficult. It's more so that they might be pushing forces in, and I really do not want them to do that. So, we are starting to capture the area. Excellent, these guys have been healed up. Let's get the additional French companies forward and start taking the territory and then move up. These guys, let's pull them back. They've taken a bit too much of a beating to be useful. Um, I want to have this tank survive. You're going to go home. You guys have been fixed. Excellent. Control point captured. That's very beneficial. I can bring in additional guys from here. What's going on here? Oh, counterattack. Yeah, right. Well, at least we found the already. So, let's cut off the infantry and bring the uh, Renaults over to start dealing with the objective in the form of Artie. So that's something the MGs just aren't nearly as good at. Start doing some suppression damage. And basically hope that they don't have any mortars here. Now the AI, I'm not so sure if they're adapting to my tactic of using a lot of armor or if they're just like getting lucky, essentially, with getting the mortars. Um, I have no idea how the AI works or how the AI decides what their research priority should be. So I can't exactly speak to that, but I am interested to see that at least there's some counter happening right about now to my armor. That is actually a good thing. Because it was getting a little ludicrous. Go on. There's an additional company or two coming in. Give them a warm welcome. This tank is trying to take a bit too much damage from the company in this trench. doing man-to-man -man fighting here. You're going to go into this trench. Actually, no. I want to have this suppressed. I want to start moving on that command trench. So we're going to go here. Let's do a bit of spawn camping because the enemy doesn't seem to be recognizing what I'm doing. You guys fixed? Yeah, you're fixed. Let's go. You're still working on fixing yourself. You have been fixed. You have any others nearby? No, oh, you can just leave. I want this territory, gentlemen. And I want it soon. Get in here. Suppress. Yeah, let's time to bring some of the machine gun tanks over. You'd think that they'd learn, right? Not so much. Okay, so the command trench has been weakened, but we need to hit them again. You need to get back for repairs. You are getting repaired. And we have some further reinforcements coming in. Excellent. All working as intended. We should take the command trench with those companies. It's just going to be a question of how expensive will it be. Please get these trenches taken over. There we go. The spawn point's been disabled. That's what I wanted to see. I can push these guys this way. Definitely a whole bunch of fire coming out of this trench. Trying to take down this tank. I can't really blame them. But I can't exactly say I appreciate it either. The 
What you got there? Oh, an observation. Okay. You doing all right? Yeah, he's getting fixed. He's going home for repairs. I still want to add the Whippet tanks to the companies, the tank groups, because I think they're going to be pretty useful. It's a bunch of mm, light to medium tanks, I guess. They're a heck of a lot faster than the units that you normally get. Okay, uh, you are going to go back for auto repair. You're going to take down the observation balloon. What were you actually firing at? It's, oh, there's a counterattack, no less. Got it. Okay. How effective is a cannon against infantry? Stop. It suppresses the shit out of them. But that might have just been the morale debuff that they get from being close to a tank. So, I'm not so sure if that's actually doing a whole lot of good. Yeah, you're going home. You've been fixed. This company can go home. Get a few additional companies in. Keep the Wall of Steel moving forward. With some infantry. Because the Wall of Steel does seem to be a little blind. They can't see anything. But they can be seen. Yeah, these Frenchies don't really hold their own very well against a machine gun. Or, well, it's not even a machine gun, against a trench. They're definitely far better in the offensive role dealing with a whole bunch of emplacements. That's what these things do very well. Oh, a mortar. That's what they deal very well with. Thankfully, the mortar's not in range yet. But it might be pretty soon. Okay, let's go and get into this trench, ensuring that they can't capture it. Let's get the FTs to start pushing on this mortar emplacement before it wrecks my tanks. Which is going to happen sooner rather than later. Jeez, there's a lot of men in here. Get it! And we're going to suppress it. There we go. I want to ensure there's nobody else coming in here. Which should work. Come on, there you go, well done. Well done. Okay, wreck these guys. Clean them up. And then we can take the territory. And there we go, I'll accept your surrender. Job done. In about 8 minutes. Well, less than that actually. So, that was a sweep. And that's additional territory. Forcing the Germans to put a whole bunch of forces on the defensive. Because now they don't have one sector that is in contact with my line. Now they have four. So this is going to be hopefully a good way to potentially pull some forces out of Brussels. I mean, not that I'm trying to attack that. And yes, I have seen the comments of people asking, hey, when are you going to attack one of those really big stacks? Because the Germans have a couple of doom stacks. Well, they don't, actually. And that's the interesting bit. Because I got this deep into their territory, normally they'd have to defend like three sectors here, but now they have to defend a heck of a lot more. So they're spreading their forces out. And the biggest stack that I was able to find is this 10 stack in Brussels. The rest of them, there's a six stack in Colmar. There's a four over here, but basically the big doom stacks are gone. So even if I wanted to, I can't attack those. What I am expecting to happen now is we're going to see either an attack from Brussels or we're going to see forces getting rerouted from Brussels to Hasselt, which will make the attack here vastly more complex. But I am determined to get it done one way or another. Let's get these tanks to move to Jean Bleu. I'll also bring one group here because there's very, very low likelihood of getting attacked from Lille. Uh, same for Peron, so I can also bring these. And I'll put a mechanics garage in there. Because it's going to make sure that my tanking battalions grant a little bit of supply. Actually making it easier to buy the tanks that I need. As for here, we got uh, Vervin, Fumé, Sedan. All of these are now defended by one group. So if possible, I would attack them again. But right now, I don't have the forces. I don't have the firepower. So let's leave it up to the AI and see what they're going to do. They're spying on me. And yep. 
Yep, yep, yep. They did put a whole bunch from the guys from Brussels. And they put the guys from Brussels in Ghent. Ah, oh, I see what they're doing. This is going to be difficult. Yeah. This is going to be a major loss at this rate. Okay. So the AI is definitely responding to potentially getting cut off. I could just ignore the whole stack and hustle and go for Hui over here. Um, and just basically feign an attack going north, ignoring that. Liège is there as well. Pushing into Dinan and Fumé. It could work, but this is a triple. I can hit them from two different directions here. That would probably work. And as such, I can take two stars off of Dinan before they reinforce it. But I cannot take the third. Doing this would cut off the whole group here. Um, I'm not sure if it's a good idea. My reasoning here is that if I cut off this whole region, so I conquer all of this territory just by encircling it, that would mean the front line shifts massively to here and then basically vertically from Hustle to Stenai. By doing that, I'm giving the AI a whole lot of troops back, pretty much. Which is not necessarily what I want. Because if I give them forces back, they're going to make their defense a heck of a lot more difficult. That is a risk. Is that a risk I'm willing to take? Not sure. What's this? Oh, it's a decision of command. Don't worry about it. Um, the Colmar stack has been dispersed. Basically, all the positions are now fragile. It's just a question of where should we attack. I mean, I can attack into Rethel, but I don't think it's worth my time because I can just use the stack from Azerni and cut this off and I get that anyway. The alternative is to foolhardily potentially push into Hasselt, which the game says is going to likely be a major loss. Uh, I can still build a supply cache in Jean Bleu, supply depot. And just hit them with everything I have. Cutting off this big stack. Because I'm kind of worried that this stack is going to go and march into Ypres. Which would be a pretty bad state of affairs. Hmm. Do I have any British tank groups that I can send? I do prefer the British tank groups over the other guys. I got a couple of French tank battalions here. Um, even one group can make a difference. Because if I lose Ypres, if they attack me here, it does have three stars, and it has a mechanic garage, and it has a supply depot, so it, it should hold out for a while. But if they cut it off, this whole group is going to get cut off and will not be able to fight for a long time. So, additional units... Grants four new infantry corps. Should be very, very powerful. Because with this, I can just bolster my forces and continue the offensive. If I want to get rid of the enemy troops faster, I could go for infantry, but I'm generally attacking with tanks, so I don't feel like I need the infantry that much. The air force... Mm, I can get the bombers. But... Why would I use bombers if I can get tanks? I don't need to go into trench warfare. I don't really care about intel at all. So I think the most likely option for me is to go for supply 3 or recruitment. The next recruitment is going to give me another two elite cores. And this is going to unlock supply 4, supply 5. Hmm... Tricky. I think, strategically, attacking Hui and taking it over is going to be the best option. Because right now, I am facing three sectors. If I take Hui, I'm going to be facing one, two, three, four, five sectors. So they're going to have to spread out those stacks yet again. But similarly, I'll also be spread out. 
So this is very much a concern. And the easiest way to go about it is just attack Dinon a few times. Attack Fume. And uh, this way cut off the whole group here. Because there is another 10 stack in Lille. And I think it's concerning. So yeah, I'm going to do the safer thing. Not necessarily the safe thing. The safer thing. Push into Fume. Push from Jean Bleu to Dinon. Push from Charleroi to Dinon. Uh, I know I can't take it in one go. But I can definitely make a hell of a good effort. We're going to get those additional infantry units. What? Oh, I need the storage building. I need this. Okay, fine. Apply. Um, this is likely going to be a minor victory. This is likely going to be a stalemate. But I'll soften them up with the group from Jean Bleu. Let's go. The battlefield of Jean Bleu seems very straightforward. It's just X-ray, command trench, Yankee. So I'm thinking a sweep this way is going to make it a bit easier. Because I'm attacking the trenches here in Yankee from the side. By going around here. And essentially taking X-Ray and then the command trench is likely going to run over a whole bunch of artillery while I'm doing it. So let's get a couple of the cannon tanks. I'll need those to take down further mortar emplacements. Assuming that they have them. And then bring a couple of the MG tanks to roll up with the wall of steel. Defending the B side. Making sure they can't take that. I mean, the AI really does not have to go on the offensive, but that does not mean that they do not. They never quite know what they're going to be up to, which I do enjoy. Uh, I'll put a couple of Artie down, allowing me to suppress positions that could threaten the tanks. That is dangerous. This is a pretty bad spot for Artie. Put an infantry group in there. And then put the Artie back here. I need my elite infantry to start pushing up with these guys. So let's get them a couple trenches that they can sit in. Well, and basically climb out of as soon as the battle starts. Reinforcements reporting. Reinforcements ready. Uh, I don't want these guys here. I got 146. That's enough for two more tanks. I have a couple of cannons and a few MGs. I got four MGs and four cannons. Let's go with two more MGs. And then a couple of elite infantry. Let's go. Take this territory as quickly as we can. Alright. Again, no observation. We'll just have to go in fairly blind. And make sure that the enemy regrets ever digging a whole load of trenches here. Because good lord, they've been productive. Uh, yeah, we're going to bring the infantry right as quick. I have an okay amount of supplies, so let's suppress the guys over here. And just make sure that we engage any mortar position with preference. Because that needs to go first. As the tanks roll through, they should be crushing the barbed wire in their way. Making it a lot easier for the infantry to move up. There's a mortar position right up ahead. Okay, no stopping. No stopping. That mortar position has to go. This one. Gone. There's another one in the back. And it's already dealing a substantial amount of damage to my tanks. I am not a fan. This thing needs to go. Priority. Gone. It does strike me that whenever your tanks engage something and they kill it, they instantly go, huh, what else are we going to do? They just stop whatever the hell they were doing. Oh, there's a blockhouse trench? Those are fairly rare. Get back, get back. I am not going to lose tanks here. Get back. Especially you. sure if I have enough of a Schwerpunkt over here. Oh, we're getting engaged by mortars. That's the problem. Kill those. Thank you. Feel a lot safer already. Go back. Go back. We're going to suppress these guys and we're going to just march in with the command. Uh, sorry, with the elite infantry. Go. 
you guys sideways. X-ray has been captured. I can bring in additional units if I so desire. For now, they're mostly defending their command trench, I think. That's why all this fire is coming out of this trench here. Get rid of them. It's either run or die, or run and die a little later. There we go. Okay. I still need to take down one more mortar pit, and I think I can find one. Shouldn't be too hard. This tank also needs to get fixed up. Get the mechanics to work. Fix those tanks up. And start pushing on that command trench. I don't have as many tanks as I would like. And this guy has been fairly badly damaged. So I might need to take a bit of a breather with this attack. Or get a couple of additional tanks in. Can't suppress that. It's too far away. Can't suppress this though. Pull back a little. Hey, we lost one. That's uh, less than ideal. Wasn't expecting to lose anything. Oi. Get your asses fixed. Be quick about it. The infantry needs you. Badly. I should add. Suppress. Okay, the elites are making mincemeat of this demotivated German infantry. Absolute slaughter. Okay, get them while they're running. Go in there. Go here. You guys alright? Still getting fixed. Pull all the tanks back now. <laughs> We're just... <laughs> casually ignoring the German infantry over there. Love it. These guys are just standing out in the open. Wow. Once you get the tanks, you really don't need as many tactics in this game. It is truly a bit sad in that regard. Okay, fixed. Fixed. Let's, let's send forward what is ready to go. So that my infantry is going to have as much firepower for support as it can. And have these guys survive. This, however, of course, will not. There's simply too much infantry in there. Well, actually... Yeah, the elites did it. Jesus, those guys are so dangerous. Okay, we're gonna go into the forest. Ready, ready. Ready. Oh, I told one of my arties to go forward. Yeah, right. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go this way. This is capturing quite nicely, and I can then pull those companies out. Okay, so right now I have four healthy tanks, mostly. It's a cannon and three MGs. It's a pretty decent mix, I would say. I'm not sure whether they're trying to get to the edge of the map, though. Okay, you guys can move up. 94%, I'll take it. I want you to get fixed. Any tank I'm forgetting? No, that's the one. Alright. Uh, this is three MG tanks. This is a little less than optimal. Because without the cannon tank, I'll not have as much firepower against a machine gun. Or against a mortar. And I'm kind of expecting a bunch of those to be shooting me. Fairly soon. So let's start taking some trenches and ideally cut off their spawn point. Oh, that's a comms trench. Come on, boys. So far, so good. Keep going. There's not a blockhouse trench. These guys have been investing in trenches a lot. We should be able to sweep these guys pretty swiftly. Especially with the rest of the infantry. We're not bringing in anything new. Yeah, we're just cleaning them up here. Excellent. Job done. I will accept your surrender. 
So, progress. This sector is going to get hit again, of course, in order to actually push the enemy out of it. But it's a good start. It's a pretty good start. I did lose two heavy tanks, which is not ideal. But so far, I can definitely bear the expenses of it. Didn't cost the Germans that much, interestingly. Thought it would cost them a little more. I think I have bled them dry econom economically because I haven't seen them go on the offensive at all at any given time. So that's the first attack on Dinant. I'm going to hit them again, this time from Charleroi. And it's potentially going to be a little easier now that they've been demotivated. I will take this battle off screen. I'll also take the battle from Mazerni to Fumé off screen because I think it's just going to be a whole bunch of tank warfare. So next episode, ideally we're going to cut off the whole bunch here. Costing the Germans a ton of forces, although they will respawn over there. But more importantly, uh, they will not move and I will get, I think, 20 national will per sector. And they're going to lose that. So, yeah, you're going to be getting a lot of points from this. Anyway, more on this next time. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon for the next.